Hello and welcome to Runner's Alley. This time the traps are picked by Raven the Saint, and you can see the traps there. He's got Alchemy Satchel, Brimstone, Floor Burner, uh, Spring Trap, Auto Ballista, and Archers. He kind of added Archers in a separate comment, but details. Um, and apparently, apologies to the last guy uh, for the last level. Apparently, his name is Adam Nodge or Nuge. Adam Nuge, I think. Is that how it is? Apologies if, I, apologies if I continue to pronounce that wrong, but I apologize to anyone in advance if I pronounce their name wrong. You can correct me in the comments like he did, uh, and I would actually be kind of appreciative of it. Appreciative of it? I think that's a, that's right, kind of, sort of. Uh, I kind of hate mispronouncing people's names. I do apologize. Either way, uh, this is Runner's Alley, and he has chosen two things that burn people. So that's going to be a bit interesting. I don't know why you'd ever put traps in here. Uh, a physics trap and two things that are ranged. So I'm probably gonna go pretty heavily. Um, can fit more than one of those up there? Not very easily, really. I'm probably gonna go pretty heavily on uh, archers and auto ballista. We shall see. Uh, the first step is to figure out where I'm placing my physics traps, and I think I'm going to be placing them kind of down here. So we'll start off like that. Uh, I guess we'll kind of start laying out some spring traps, or should I save? I don't know. See if I can. Yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want. So the first wave spawns way down there. I think what I might do uh, and this seems a bit silly because it limits the ballista's range, but is uh, take the ballista and point them on both of these overhang things towards this corner. That's going to limit the range on the these and thus their effectiveness. But it will make a pretty heavy kill zone here, and then I can have archers up on both of those facing this way as well. I don't know how well that will work though. Oops. Either way, we do have these, which are great things, although now that I've placed that there, I don't actually want to blow it up. I want the traps to kill some stuff. So we'll drop that, wait a little bit, blow it up, drop another one, blow it up since those weren't going to trigger in time. Now I can go ahead and rush some archers to give me some covering fire and such. I don't see a problem with that, so sure. I can only afford two, but it's better than none. Have a thing. You think that would shatter it considering it's made of glass, but apparently not. Whatever. Keep in mind we do have additional uh, money foods for when these guys kill orcs, however, they can't heal. You'll be back. They also have very little health. I suppose I expected this. So I gotta watch for apparently they're not gonna get shot at or or what? Really. Really. Apparently uh, the archers up there will not be shot at by the people who go around the corner. This is intriguing news. That's the wrong button. I keep pushing the wrong button. It's quite awkward, I must say. So that's actually good to know. I don't know if the third one over here would end up getting shot like that, but I keep hitting the wrong button. It's quite awkward. Cute. So if I just... What about the other side, though? Will the other side be shot? Hmm, most curious. It's possible they'll end up being shot from down that side, so as a test... Go ahead and drop someone right there. And see if he's still alive at the end of this wave. Oh yeah. I think we get a break at the end of this wave anyway, so... Oops. No... Are you gonna get him? You gonna get him? You gonna get him? You gonna get him? There we go. They, get, they done got him. Also, I think I've mentioned this before, but the Paladins have shields? I may not have, it may have been streamed. If they get hit by something that's ranged, they'll pop a shield up and take uh, either reduced or no damage. I'm not entirely sure which of those. I don't think this guy had a proper test, but I'll go ahead and deck him out with some friends there and give him some armor. What you want. So I've got the archers laid out how I want. I'm going to go ahead and drop some... Uh, I don't some spring traps right here. Let's sell these and do that. So just spring traps right at the corner here, and then we'll make another row behind that and see how well that does. 
Apologies, had to sneeze there. Uh, and then we'll put some flame traps down or use auto ballista to sort things out. I'm not entirely sure which of the two. Are there any orcs back there? There's some over here. Are you going to shoot at them? They should shoot at them because they've got ba yeah, basically a straight line at them, so there should be no issue there. Oops. The problem here is I will have to worry about uh, the fact that, well, quite frankly, those aren't ever going to kill anything, so I'm not going to get any sort of bonus from them, so I'm going to have to worry about stuff running past all the time. But then again, with just two flame traps, I would have to worry about that as well, so... There we go. That's all I wanted, game. And now I can watch the archers shoot at them for 17 decades. Hooray, decades. Yeah. Now what I could do, actually, is put another row of these up here, because the people going around the corner, I think, go around it kind of like this, so they end up hitting that little corner of that square. I think that's how they go around it. We'll see in a moment! I have a thing! So I watch you go around the corner. Yeah, they go pretty wide around the corner, so it should be alright. Nice shot, whoever hit that guy in midair. I can't, for the life of them, hit- oh, it's because he's on the ground. They have difficulty hitting things on the ground sometimes. Those did not appear to shoot at my archers, and I- they will shoot backwards they don't have another target, but it looks like they're gonna go around the corner before that becomes applicable. I could actually, well, kill them. Thank you. I was gonna say, I could put some brimstone down to uh, remove smaller enemies, but then brimstone's pretty much garbage in the first game, so I'm not really sure how much that would be worth. So I'll just continue spring trapping things. There you go. So that should hold pretty much anything, and this is the last wave anyway. You... Apparently he's allergic to plagues? He has to go now? It's a bit bizarre. Like, for these things, I could throw down some, some brimstone over here or something. This will demo it. But you can see, it doesn't last very long. It only hit two enemies before it went out, and that's why it's worthless in this game compared to the second one. The second one, you can uh, upgrade it so it, the actual brimstone itself lasts longer rather than, than the burn duration lasting longer, which is a much better upgrade, quite frankly. Because in order for the brimstone to really be an effective stopper, you have to have like three or four rows of it which kind of ruins the rest of your trap placement, so... Look at them go. Oh. We could actually let these guys get past and go deal with the, uh... I haven't even put down any ballista, I've just realized. Oh, well. We could let them get past and deal with Mr. Paladin back there. They won't get past the Paladin. They're not going to get to that chance anyway, so hooray! There's Raven the Saint's traps. Well done there. Didn't use one of them, but, you know. You know. I didn't get part-time, did I? No. Missed part-time because I'm screwing around with physics, man. Physics, it's great. Either way, uh, thanks for the trap selection. Give a little preview of the next level, whose name I have forgotten. Much like every level in this game, despite the fact I've beaten it like seven times now. Overpass! Oh, this one. I, know this I didn't one. know better. I think the orcs were learning. Hmm, learning. Now this one, I would like to request that you pick barricades, but it's not required that you pick barricades. Having barricades makes this level a billion times easier, because you see it has a split path that goes up there and over, which is why it's called Overpass. Ha ha ha. Um... If, if you have barricades, you can easily uh, cut this off. I don't know why I went that way, that's the longer way to get over here. Uh, you can easily cut it off back here with two barricades and nullify the issue of that path entirely because they'll path over to here, which has a kill zone, which is what I normally do, but since y'all are picking the traps, uh, if you don't pick barricade, that's fine. Tis not a requirement, tis just a request. Um, you can pick any traps you want. You can pick boom barrels, which I don't think anyone's... Yeah, no one's picked boom barrels, no one has picked... Uh, mana well, thank god, because it's worthless. No one's picked Coin Forge either. I've 
never use it. It's super cheap, but it's also massive. Let me show you it real quick. It's massive. It takes a 3x3 three three area. The plus side is things that die on it have a very high chance of dropping coins, you as you might expect given the name. Now I've placed it, I can't go back to the traps. Uh, so they're this super cheap. I mean, you could do something like this, where you just line the area outside of your traps with them, and I can't put it over there because it's too large. I'm so clever. And you are clever, sir. Uh, but you could do something like that and line the place, and then just have everything I kill drop coins, and then just keep doing this all the way through the level. Not exactly efficient, or useful, or good, or anything like that, especially since it has such a limited placement area. Not a lot of places have a 3x3 three three yeah, area that you can put it on. But yep, this is the this is the level. Uh, tell me your traps, and I will see you guys next time.